Welcome everybody, it's Debbie at Your Home, Your Happy Place, and I've got a haul for you. And I also am including um, a super simple crock pot recipe, in, and I mean simple. You may, it's almost too simple, but you know, when you see the results, you'll understand. So I'm going to bring you one of my favorite, easiest recipes, uh, slow cooker. Uh, great for fall and winter, however, I eat it year-round. <laughs> um, this is just a chuck roast, and my husband and I will probably have a little leftover, but not a lot. Um, I only add salt and pepper to it, and garlic. If I have real garlic, I add it. I don't have any right now, so I'm doing powder. But I do, or I would use also onion powder, but I have some onions, so I'm gonna pop that in there as well. And that is it. I don't add water. It is the most tender meal. It makes its own juice and so flavorful. So I'm just gonna get that prepared and then hopefully, I've, I've recorded making this so many times in the last year and I always forget when it's time to eat to show you what it looks like. So hopefully tonight I will remember to do that. So I melt the butter in here. What I love about this Hamilton Beach is it is uh, able to sear and brown. So the difference in a roast just going in and cooking for four to six to eight hours, however long you do it, <clears throat> and one that's been seared, I don't know. It's a it's a huge difference in our in our book. So. That's what I love about this, because it's a one pot. So I brown it in butter. And since it's bubbling, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. Normally I use tongs, and I'll get some. Oh yeah. I mean, it already smells amazing. Anytime you put garlic on anything. Okay. And I am gonna let that brown for three to five minutes. Then I'm gonna turn it over. I'm also gonna do all the sides, but I don't do them as long. In the meantime, I'm gonna chop up my onions. Okay, so that's of how gorgeous this looks before I ever start to slow cook it. All right, so I'm gonna cancel this. Six hours, I'm gonna pick six hours. I'm gonna toss my chopped onions in, and I really didn't do that much with them. No water. It'll be juicy enough. Okay, we'll come back and check this when it's time to eat. But as I selected my color palette for fall, I was working towards my kitchen 
And all I had in my bins were bright, bright oranges, which I can use outside or I can use somewhere else at a different house. Um, or really, really pale green and cream. And it just wasn't flowing. I sought to find um, a wreath, first of all. I've had two different wreaths on my hood and I'm still not satisfied. And maybe three, I, yeah, I am. I've already up to three. Um, I ordered one on Amazon, but it's not here yet. And then when I went to Home Goods, I kind of found another one that I think might work. Um, and once the other one comes, I'll figure out, but I still need one in my husband's study. So um, whichever one I don't choose will work there. So I'm gonna start with that. And if you recall my um, mantle, I had sort of, there were, I know there was like the texture and sheen of magnolia leaves, but some of them were oak and, you know, it was just really pretty. And I really was looking for the gold. I failed at finding the gold, but I found this magnolia wreath at Home Goods, and um, it's got some blueberries in it. And then I really don't know what this is. And there are some other leaves in here as well, but um, I think it's going to work because it's a darker. It's darker, but this color is also in what I have. And so then I <clears throat> thought. If I could find some sunflowers, and I got these also at Home Goods. I wasn't thrilled with the price because it's just three, but I'm not going to use them like that. I'm going to clip them and I'm going to see about putting them in here. You guys can let me know what you think. Obviously, I can't tell that much when I'm filming what that might look like. Um, the only reason, like I have one up there right now that has sunflowers on it that are very faded. The whole wreath is faded and it might be a better look than this huge contrast. But I do have a little bit of this in, in my kitchen right now. So I'm just gonna try. I mean, the worst case scenario is um, I just have some little stems to put in a vase somewhere. Um, and speaking of that wreath, I needed some greenery up in the, um, I don't know what to call these things. They're little display areas. I have them in the kitchen over, like my, my sh cabinets go up to the ceiling and then I designed some openings. I think I've got th uh, three small ones. And then I have a really big one that's over my freezer and my um, refrigerator. So I really wanted something like that. And they had probably had three of these, but I don't really want, I don't want to overwhelm it. I like to keep that kind of airy and light, but I wanted to carry the theme. So this was also at the home goods and it's exactly like the wreath. All right, then I'll, I'll do a lot of the simple stuff. Okay. So I found these amazing, beautiful gold. It's, they're just, it's made out of the same fabric. Well, it's Tahari, just like my table runners. And these are leaves and acorns. And I really think it's really pretty. I love that color. I don't know that it's gonna be used at this house. And for those of you that are new, by the way, thank you so much to all the new subscribers. I still, I'm still overwhelmed at how many people are subscribing and thank you. Just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I, we, anyway, if you don't, if you haven't been with me very long, we have a cottage and it's about four hours away from where we live here and it's where we're from. And uh, when we retired, we, you know, moved into a tourist area in the southern part of Missouri near Branson. Uh, and, and the lakes, and there's just so, the hills. I mean, I love it here. Uh, my husband and I were both born and raised in the St. Louis area, outskirts of it, but still. So uh, we've got a lot of family and a lot of friends there. We have to go back a lot for events, especially with grandchildren. And um, it just, we just wanted a home base. I think 
I've already selected the plates for my tablescape up there. I mean, they're, they're ones I've had for years and years, but it's the tablescape I wanna go with. So I'm excited to take this up there. It won't be till um, a little after mid-September before I'll be able to actually go up and show you that tablescape. Um, and on that same vein, I'm not sure about this either. This might stay here with me, but I loved this. Um, it's a the color's a little off from that, so I don't know that I would put those on the same thing, but I really like having um, some of this gold. Actually, wow, I never even looked at this. It looks totally reversible. Oh my gosh, the other side probably says it on there, and I, no, it doesn't. The other side is a very beautiful, um, like linen or burlapy cream color, linen color, really. Okay, so that's pretty much the table cloth situation. Um, I'm sitting here by some rugs, and these are also from, hmm, yeah, they're from Home Goods here. Yeah, they're from Home Goods at the other house. So at the other house, I, I bought this exact same rug. They didn't have a two pack like this. And I bought it with, um, in a blue, a, a kind of slate blue. And so this is green and I really like these. So this one came with two rugs. One's larger and somebody used one for sure in the kitchen and one either in the laundry room or the uh, one of the exits at the, in the kitchen to the deck. Um, and this is, uh, oh, Rachel Ashwell. So in case you guys don't, it's called The Farmhouse by Rachel Ashwell. She is the author of a lot of shabby chic books and um, she's been around a lot. I love her stuff. It's, uh, it is everywhere. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <sighs> hmm. I'm gonna save those because I don't have the other pillows. I'm not gonna show that right now. Okay, I picked up, I know, I'm not going overboard, I promise, on sunflowers, I promise. Oh, you know, I just wanna kind of do a little something, nod to fall on my coffee bar. As you'll see, I want a little more than nod to fall, but um, so these were Hobby Lobby. And they did have leaves. Um, they maybe they had pumpkins. I don't really know, but that's why I'm warning you. It's like, yeah, I have another. I have another uh, nod to the sunflower, but they're very pale, and I think they're cute. And then, uh, let's see. I'll do the rest of the coffee bar stuff I got. I found this which is you know a clip air supposedly airtight jar we don't know it's got it looks like a pumpkin but it's got leaves on it you can see those and this was home goods they had only had four of them there um i had three in my cart at one point i was like i'm gonna put coffee i'm gonna put decaf and i'm gonna put tea in it but then I put one back because my teas are very specific and packaged in a way that I could probably only get three of them in here so it doesn't serve a purpose. But um, I'm excited to add that to my kitchen in, a, in my next video maybe. I don't really know what my next video, I don't really know what my next video is gonna be at the moment. And then, yeah, okay. Um, so I moved, if you saw my video on my fall tablescape in my kitchen, my new dishes, I did put those coffee mugs on my mug tree, um, but there were only four of them and my mug tree holds, I think six. I don't think it could hold eight, but regardless, I wanted something to kind of go with it. And when I saw these, I was like, okay, I've got to have it. I mean, it's so cute. And then I started finding these unique gifts, or not gifts. They would be great gifts. Let's just be blunt. I'm keeping it. Um, I saw this and I just thought, you are so beautiful. <laughs> um, and I do drink tea. 
So I just thought it was the perfect little teapot. Uh, regardless, I don't, I'm just probably gonna have it out on a tray somewhere. I just think it's so beautiful. And this one caught my eye. And I just need to tell you guys, I don't do spooky ghost Halloween stuff. Um, it's just not something I want to do. So you're not going to see that from me. Uh, there's plenty of YouTubers out there that do it. And if you're looking for that kind of inspiration, I know you can find it. So I'm very cautious when I look at things because I don't want to be getting some kind of witchy thing. Um, this, I don't know what they call it, but it's by the same artist and you put the tea light in there and then there's all kinds of little cutouts um, so that the light will glow. And these are little, I, I don't know what those are on the side. That looks like cupcakes. Uh, to me, it looks like little, I don't know. I don't know what they are, but isn't that cute? I have no idea where those are going. Then. And then they had one other one, but I just wasn't a fan, so I didn't buy it. But I'll be on the lookout because I like little collections, especially of artist things. This one says Harvest House, and it's got a pear with a sunflower hanging on it, and it's got sunflowers all around it. The polka dot chimney, and then the, the light on this one, the windows are a lot bigger, so it'll be casting out more light. I needed some, uh, I needed some more candles. Okay, there it is lit, or is it? Here we go. Um, these are the kind that are really wax, but battery operated, so that cannot go outside. And I learned that lesson a year or so ago. So I've got, um, two this is the smaller size and then I have two of those and one larger one and I kind of have an idea where that's going um, and then I've got two candle holder situations the first set is what I would have called either the British West Indies or the Shinasuri which has the monkeys in it so I found these and they're gold, so I really like that. And you know, if you saw my chinoiserie uh, family room, which was right before this, um, I have a little gold monkey who's uh, holding a big banana leaf that um, I have balls in right now. So I needed some candles for that. And those are home goods. And these are home goods. And I would love to get some of the Amazon candles that are battery operated, that are tapers, but right now it's not in my budget. I mean, these are $8 for a pack of four. And the first one, um, they, they actually smell. So this says a fragrant bouquet of delicate sunflower, spring lilac and blooming freesia. That smell, that sounds really nice. <laughs> So, but I got the goldenrod and then I got the sage, which is um, sage leaf smoked with white birch, hickory, green matcha, and moss. And these also came in taller than this, um, which is what I had in my hand at first. And then I thought, you know, no, I don't need that kind of drama. This is already tall enough. I picked up a set of, they only had one or I bought, bought two. Um, this is home goods and these are napkin rings. They match the handles that I bought to go on my console in my family room. This is gorgeous. Uh, this is from home goods. And this is just, I love that this is open because you could just weave whatever kind of, you know, garland or I don't know, you could even just weave like a fabric in there, it's burlap, ribbon, whatever. Now I did buy some napkin rings thinking, so these are from Hobby Lobby, thinking that I might want to put these on there. Although I'd have to probably tape them or something, but I thought that could be cute. I don't know if you can really tell what I'm doing, but 
you know, just like a little candle ring at the base of the candle to soften it. I really thought that was pretty and it's really kind of not something I normally would do. And um, um, I picked up this at Home Goods, $7.99. Now, if I go on Amazon, something like this is typically almost $20. And that's what I'm probably gonna link for you in case you're looking for something because I'm gonna give you links for people who maybe don't have a home goods or anything near them. But, um, and if you go to a boutique, they're gonna be that price too. But it's got the cranberry color in it. So I was looking for something and as you can see, it's got the gold and there's very minimal orange. There's a little orange in there, but I don't mind a little. And then this one also had um, a cranberry red in the apples that are inside of it. I don't know what it smells like today. I'm a little congested. All right, and then the last thing from this this haul, the home decor haul, is this. I mean, I love this velvet pumpkin. It is gorgeous, and this is the green. It's a hint of something to come. I'm not gonna tell you where it's gonna end up. Um, I love going to the bookstore. Oh my gosh. So I didn't have a lot of time because I, like I took off around 4.30 yesterday. I needed retail therapy and um, I, I used the whole rest of the evening out. So I ended at the bookstore and I have some fall cookbooks, but they're at the cottage. And so I was just looking to see if they had anything. I was very disappointed that they had nothing out that said fall at all. But um, I did run across this book and it's called The Date Night Book. And I just wanted to tell you, it, um, it's filled with dish, I'm reading somebody's thing, it's filled with dishes and drinks, perfect for any stage of a relationship. Um, I came for the amazing recipes, but stayed for the heartwarming and hilarious stories. And so the thing is, I bought it for um, a gift because one of my kids, um, they do Married Monday movie night and they always create some something new that they've never had before. Um, but they also entertain, you know, um, ooh, here, look at that one. Savory French toast. So anyway, I picked this up as a gift and I just thought I'd show it to you. I'm sure I can find a link for that on Amazon. But I'm gonna take the lid off for the first time. Hopefully not steam my phone. And see, I didn't add one bit of water to this. This is amazing. Let me grab, I'm just gonna grab the tongs. I'm using my wrong hand, so. And I'm just gonna show you how tender this is because it literally is gonna just fall apart. I mean, look at that. Isn't that not amazing, you guys? So, I highly recommend. Just to recap, it was a chuck roast. I just added salt, pepper, garlic powder. I would've used onion powder if I had any, but I didn't. And then I chopped up big chunks of onion in here. All right, and then I'm just gonna give you a real quick, so this is where if you're not interested in reading, turn me off. But give me a like, by the way, before you turn me off. Um, I have a stash that I need to read, trust me, I do. Um, one of my favorite books was Into the Water, and I don't remember anything about it, but I just know it was really good and I, I passed my books on or I'd show it to you right now and maybe it would, you know, if I read the back of it, it would trigger a little bit of the memory. I'd like, I feel like I'd like to read it again, but it's an author who right now I believe only has three books out. And so I may have, oh, oh no, she didn't not just have that. She did The Girl on the Train, which was made into a movie. And so this one is A Slow Fire Burning by Paula Hawkins. 
Um, I have not read it, so I'm not recommending. I'm just telling you what I have in my queue. And if something is too gory, of course, I don't like that. So I stop reading it. And if something's too sexy, I stop reading it. So when I recommend, it's going to be relatively, you know, it can be exciting thriller. It can have a little bit of, you know, flirtatious sex in it, but not, you know what I mean. So, okay. So uh, do I have another one of hers? No. All right, and then <clears throat> this one is called The New Couple. It's, uh, so it's by Allison James, and it says the perfect marriage, the perfect house, the perfect secret, dot, dot, dot. So I started to read this once, and I, 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 when I have all these books, I'll give everything a try and see which one latches, and then the others go back until I feel like picking them up again. So I don't remember anything about it, but I read the back of it yesterday and I got to the bottom and I thought, oh, I never read that part before. Um, she says, um, this is, I guess, a quote from the book. She says, behind closed doors, I try to relax, to unwind in the huge clawfoot bath and forget about my complicated past. It's hard being the new couple on the street when you've got secrets, because the truth is my charming husband isn't really my husband. And I'm not Stephanie Hamlin. So that sounds intriguing. I don't know which one I'm, I'm ready to start. And I just finished Ellen Hildebrand's um, The Hotel Nantucket about a week, two weeks ago, maybe. And so this is the next one out, The Five Star Weekend. I'm sure I would will consider this a beach read, but I'm going to the beach in... A little over a month so I may save it for that and then this one I don't know why I picked it up I mean I I must have read the back okay this one's called what the neighbors saw so this is might be a new author because it says a fresh new voice um, riveting um, it tells a little bit about it, and then the other person writes, remarkably suspenseful and nearly impossible not to read in one sitting. These are the kind of things that make me read a book. This might be my next book. And then my uh, daughter-in-law that I'm buying the date book for um, bought this for me while they were visiting, or actually it was the week she came by herself with the kids, uh, by herself, I just mean my son wasn't with her. And um, so I saw that this is supposed to be really good too. I did start to read it, it did keep my attention, but I really wanted to bring you some beach reads before the end of summer, so I put this one aside, um, and I don't really know what to tell you about it. But anyway, that's it. That's all I'm reading. Thanks everybody for joining me today. Thank you for your continued support. Um, I really appreciate you and love reading your comments. And um, my next video, if you'll join me on Wednesday, should be my kitchen. Um, it could change, but that's kind of what I've been working towards this past week. And I just, that's how I knew I needed to go out and buy a few things. So I will see you on Wednesday and you guys have a great week until then and make your home your happy place. Bye.